Enough is enough with these motherfucking vampires on this motherfucking plane. So today we're going to be talking about Netflix's newest German-based action thriller horror movie, Blood Red Sky. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, probably is, since I don't actually have a mic to buffer out the outside world, but my neighbor is cutting their yard, so you may hear a lot more. And like I did say, it is a German-based film, um, so but I did watch it with the English dub, and, and I do want to re-watch it in german with english subtitles i think that might be better just because the english version of it wasn't the best and i don't think a lot of things translated as well and i'm sure with the subtitles part of it might actually be better than the dubbing portion of it so that is one thing i will recommend for you guys if you don't mind subtitles otherwise you just watch it in english or of course if you speak german in german and also just i feel like i'm putting my foot in my mouth when i say i don't like horror stuff but then here i am watching like zombies vampires and stuff like that a reminder especially for those of you who are new even though i am not a horror fanatic i can watch some stuff as long as it doesn't incorporate like demonic possessions little girls little little kids like creepy ass shit like that like i'm out of i don't i don't fuck with that but other stuff like vampires zombies i, I i'm i'm cool with that i can get jiggy with it i love me some vampire movies i don't feel like we've had a vampire movie in quite some time have we i mean if, we pretty much has been overrun by zombie movies which i'm not mad at i don't feel like you should see the trailer prior because it does give a big thing away which that part i'm not going to share with you so it does start off as a hijacking movie unfortunately they are not aware that on board of this plane that they're trying to hijack there lies one little vampire yes we have a hijacking plane mixed with a vampire movie it's crazy but it works i don't know who was sitting down thinking oh let's make another hijacking movie but you know what? We got we got to add some to it. The vampire design in this particular movie is actually really good. They did a really good job. There's like a creepy aspect to them, but they don't have like that really beautiful allure to them. Like you know, we come to know of. I was kind of like put it back a little bit because I'm always jumping around. This is one of those type of movies that's kind of starting at the end of the movie, and they were kind of being told the story from the kid's point of view which the kid actually did really good he wasn't an annoying little kid he was actually really really smart and he didn't fully let his emotions get to him so he was able to make those smart life-saving decisions that need to be made we are following this mother son, a son a duo who's trying to get to new york for a treatment we don't really know what the treatment does who's gonna do the treatment i was okay not knowing that to be honest with you i don't really feel like it's a bit of information that I needed. The way that she's been kind of holding it together for her son, even though she is technically very, very dangerous for her son who is not a vampire, but just still that love that she has for him. Just the mere lens that a mother's willing to go for her child, regardless of the situation, she's still a mother. Now, I'll, oh, before I forget, there's a damn like little cute dog. Dogs, oh, two dogs get killed. One gets like killed like drained get eaten the other dog gets gets shot because the dog got framed so i just wanted to make sure i mentioned that because yeah i know how i am with my animals like you can kill other people you want but please please let the animal survive my nail just got caught in my hair i don't even got my claws you guys i didn't miss my claws you saw my last review for jolt which oh my god i kept calling it volt but they're lord jolt <laughs> i did mention that i was gonna be talking about another movie about the fire sequence or the fire scene yeah the fire here also like in that one it's just not the best the length of it is a little bit too long it is um about two hours long and i feel like we could have cut maybe 10 even 20 minutes from the movie there are parts of it that are a little bit we linger in certain parts a little too long and we could have done without it we do have also um a very crazy psychotic unhinge <laughs> henchman here when i first saw him it's like i never suspected him but then it's like dude you are like psycho like even his fellow henchmen were like on the fence with him but yeah that's pretty much all i'm gonna say about the movie before i do give you my score of course if you haven't yet don't forget to give this video a like 
subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new so blood red sky it mixes up a hijacking movie with the vampire movie we're getting it together we're in again in an airplane so we do have that claustrophobic closed off we're trapped not just again in a hijacking situation but with the vampire on board and it goes for a crazy ride we have a mother protecting her son just the length that she's uh, willing to go to to protect her protect him it is a good fun time i was not mad at it so with all that said i'm going to give blood red sky a medium popcorn if you've seen this movie let me know down below what did you think about it did you like it did you love it? did you hate it was it just not for you let me know what is your favorite vampire movie down below I guess I should have been prepared for it, right? Yeah, um, we're not gonna see none of the Twilight movies. Um, we'll go with like real vampires. Um, oh, I love Underworld. Um, and Fright Night. I know I just saw like the original Fright Night. That was awesome. This is also half a plain hijacking movie. So also let me know what is your favorite plain hijacking movie. That one for me definitely would be Con Air. I love Con Air. Don't come at me I'm not on that one. Until next time, I'll see you guys at concessions. Bye.